Hey, I'm the Next Steps MA here at the Oaks. I serve in seven student ministries on a Wednesday night. And I'm just gonna be showing you everything that I get to do on a Wednesday so that you can do it too. So the first thing we're doing is going to the Next Steps hallway. All right, so this is the Next Steps hallway. This is the 100 hallway. It's on the west side of the building. And so the first thing we're gonna do is get two tables that we're gonna set up right here. These tables are usually here, and if you can't find one, just ask another intern that's setting up and he'll get you one. Once you got these two in the room, we're gonna go up to the tree house, which is in the student auditorium, to get the supplies to put on these tables. So this is the tree house. All of our supplies are gonna be in the second cabinet on the second shelf from the top. Everything you need should be on the second cabinet in this black box, but if you're missing any supplies that you're gonna see downstairs, this is where you're gonna find the extra. All right, after I set everything up, after I set everything up, I'm gonna show you exactly what's supposed to be down here so you make sure you get everything. All right. Okay, so these are all of our resources that we have for our students to pick up if they accept Christ for the first time or recommit their life to Him. So I'm just gonna go over what we need to have on the table. It doesn't have to be in this order. You can be creative with how you set it up. So we have our bag right here. So the idea is that a student takes a bag and with their leader, they'll walk through and they'll grab a resource that they're supposed to complete in the next week. We have our 30 day John reading plan through the book of John. We have a fasting devotional. This is usually for students that are recommitting their life to Christ and want to just take on a challenge. We have our small groups and Next Steps Devo information. It's got that fancy QR code on the back that they can scan to get the information. The Bible app, we want everybody to get the Bible app. It's huge, it's a door to so many resources. And then if a student doesn't have a Bible, they can get a Bible. And if they already have a Bible, they can get the Life Book, which is a commentary of the book of John. And it's got notes in there, it's pretty awesome. Last thing, it's just an invite card to come back next week. That's the biggest thing, we want them here on the Wednesday night. All right, now we're gonna go set up the small group table. So down here, we have all our small groups. So when a student comes out of the altar room, their first stop is to figure out whether or not they're already connected to a small group. And if not, we want to get them hooked up so they can get in contact with a leader. All right, there's a couple things we have to get from the second floor that's going to be over there. So let's go check it out. Yep. All right. So this is the second floor. This is where we store a lot of things uh, just for, to run our service. So all we're gonna be grabbing is our next step sign and some tape. All right, now it's the time to set up the altar room. You're gonna need 20, stack, uh, 20 chairs. They come in stacks of 10 and they're usually right over here. So during the day they have school here, so these tables and chairs essentially just need to be pushed out to the side of the wall, so we're going to do that real quick. Okay. okay, so once you got 20 chairs in here, we're going to be putting a few things in the chairs for the students, and the first thing is whiteboards, and the teachers usually provide those, and so we're going to grab those right over here. So every other chair has to have a whiteboard, an altar card, and a pen. There's gonna be a student in each seat with a whiteboard and a leader next to him.
Okay, so during service, you have a few responsibilities beyond just altar at the end. The first thing is when students first come in at seven o'clock, you wanna make sure that all the students sit as close to the front as possible. And that means every time they sit down from worship or from small group breakouts, anytime the students return to their seats, you wanna make sure that students are pressed towards the front and that parents find a seat in the back two rows. Now, during service, you just get to enjoy it, sit with students, but then at the end, Pastor Joseph's gonna give an altar call. At the end of his message, he'll have everyone bow their heads, close their eyes. That's when you need to have your head up and looking around. Because you need to see all the students that raise their hands. Okay, so whenever he tells students to raise their hands, you kind of gauge how many there are. And whenever he calls them to go forward, you go forward with them. Hopefully, if the other leaders are doing their jobs, then they'll go forward with the students as well. And you're gonna pray the sinner's prayer and then you lead them from the front of the auditorium after praying with Pastor Joseph to the altar room that we just set up. I'm gonna show you in there what your responsibilities are. So once you're at the front of the stage with Pastor Joseph, we wanna make sure that every student has a leader. They should, but if not, you need to start asking leaders uh, from the seats to come help you out. And then Pastor Joseph's gonna dismiss you to the altar room, and this is how you get there. So once you're in here, make sure that every student is at a seat that has a pen and a whiteboard and an altar card, and you want a leader sitting next to every single student. Once they're all sat down, you're just gonna kind of direct what's happening. You say, hey, listen, this is the next steps room. We're so happy for your decision that you made. We just wanna help you with some next steps so that you can live this thing out. You close them in prayer, and then you take them to the next steps hallway. They're gonna bring their student to the small group table here where there's gonna be a volunteer that's gonna make sure they get hooked up to a small group if they have it already. Then, once they're good there, they're gonna make their way to the resource table. You're just gonna make your way right here and you're gonna be taking all the altar cards. It's got kind of two pieces. You keep one, they keep the other, and you collect those. And when you're done, you just turn those into Pastor Antonio. And guys, I think that's pretty much it except you gotta tear it all down when it's done. Okay, so I showed you all the main stuff, but there's a few more things that you can maybe expect to be given responsibility over. First thing is core prayer. That happens at 6.30, it's before service. Pretty much we're just praying for God to move, for students' hearts to be changed. You may be asked to be do that, uh, asked to do that. Uh, really beyond that, you're just here to serve. Anything that Pastor Antonio or Pastor Joseph asks you to do, you just do it. Uh, usually Will Marks or uh, Austin Rigsby will be here. My phone number is going to be in the description below along with my email if you have any questions. And everything I just showed you is also in a written format. It's going to be on a document that's attached below. But uh, if you have any questions, just give me a call. I always have my phone on me around this time. So yeah, I hope this helps. hope it makes it easy on you and uh, you're going to kill it.